So this little tree here is a dwarf mulberry. It's about three years old from cutting. And it's been in the ground for about, ooh, say two and a half years or so. Now they're quite fast growing. And secondly, they're deciduous or semi-deciduous. So that means as they come into the colder months here in southeast Queensland, it'll completely drop all of its leaves. Okay, and you'll just be left with a heap of little sleepy buds, little sticks that just look like this. Okay, just with a few little sleepy buds. And they'll just stay dormant until they start waking up again. So, you chop these things back when they go dormant, chop them back by about a third. And it does a couple of things. It really promotes new shoots and it wakes these little buds up, as you can see here. It's absolutely loaded with fruit. Heaps on here. It's awesome. They're so yummy, these things. So, the idea is when you chop these things back, they just erupt. All those little sleepy buds will wake up and you'll have an abundance of gorgeous little mulberries. Now this branch here, I haven't chopped back. And as you can see, it's just a stick. It hasn't done anything yet. So what I need to do with this, chop it back down here somewhere, and what I end up with is some more cuttings, which is exactly what I want, because I want heaps of these things in the yard, because they're absolutely gorgeous. And here's another one here. Okay, haven't done anything with it. Now these things are really, really easy to propagate from cutting. I'll just take my sack of tears and chop it down here somewhere. take this one off as well mm. chop it down here somewhere and what you end up with a couple of little hardwood cuttings I'll go and show you what to do with them so this technique will work with pretty much any hardwood cutting now remember hardwood cutting is anything that looks like this it's got no leaves on it and the plant that produces them will just go dormant so it'll just drop its leaves okay and it'll just have little sleepy little buds and it'll just go dormant like that so say you've just chopped these off your mulberry tree you want to find where the buds are and that's where you want to chop it it's just beneath the bud here okay don't chop it back here chop it just beneath the bud that's where the roots will start coming out so you take your sack of tears and you want to cut it on an angle. Okay, just like that. And that's pretty much all you got to do. Now a little technique that I like to do is I just like to scar the outside. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it or not, but I've just scraped away a little bit of that bark to expose a little bit of the green underneath basically wounds that plant there secondly I like to stick with about seven buds okay so three under the ground four above the ground so you count one two three uh, one two three four five six seven eight so there's eight on this take the top same thing again there's your hardwood cutting. Okay, about 300 mil long, 11 inches, 12 inches, whatever system of measurement you use. You'll end up with a few little pieces too. I stick these in the ground as well. And that's it. It's as simple as that. You stick these in the, in a pot of soil. In a few weeks time these little sleepy buds will start waking up i'll go and show you what i mean so these are some cuttings that i took about a week ago and you can already see the little buds are starting to wake up just after about a week so they're pretty much bulletproof these things and all I do is I've just stuck them in a pot of soil, nice free draining stuff. 
and just stuck them in a little bit of filtered light under a little little shaded area I've got in the backyard there. So these cuttings that I just took, only two of them, but that's all right. I'll just stick them back in this pot as well. I'll just drive them into the ground. Nothing too crazy. Now I like to have about three buds in the ground. Okay, just gives them a good chance to grow roots. I get him in there like that. Now the beauty of growing all these in one pot is it basically saves me a lot of space. So when they start growing roots, I can simply take them out of this pot and I can just plant them individually or I can stick them in the ground, which is pretty much what I'll be doing. So, once I just stuck in there, I'll just give them a quick drink. Like that. And that's it, that's all I have to do. And then in a few weeks time, these buds will start opening. And they do a very interesting little thing, these little mulberries. They basically think that they're still attached to the parent tree. So what happens is when these little buds open, generally they'll start producing fruit before they even start producing roots. Which has a few disadvantages. And the main one is, is it puts all of its energy into growing the fruit and not growing roots. So there's a little trick that you've got to do. But it's quite simple. So these ones here, were done about three weeks ago. These ones were done at the same time that I chopped back the mother tree. And if you remember the mother tree, she was all starting to produce fruit. So these little cuttings here are genetically the same age as that parent tree. So all they want to do is produce little fruit. Okay? Now the idea is to not let these cuttings produce fruit. Because they haven't got any roots yet. So all that energy that's been stored in this cutting is being used to grow the fruit. So what you got to do in about maybe another week or another two weeks what I've got to start doing is start picking these fruit off. You pick them off, get rid of them, don't take the whole branch off just pick the fruit off and what that'll do that'll just send the energy back down below and these things will start producing roots. Now that's the only downfall about doing these things when the tree goes dormant because the first thing it wants to do when it wakes up is produce new fruit. So there you have it. Now I get a very good success rate with these things. Normally generally about 95% success rate. And uh, this year I'm going to end up with an absolute abundance of these new little dwarf mulberry trees. And the beauty of these little dwarf mulberry trees is they don't get very tall, not like your regular mulberry tree that gets quite large and in my opinion it's quite invasive. These things just stay quite compact as long as you chop them back when they go dormant. By about a third, you can chop them back as much as you want. It's not really a problem. So this is going to be the new generation of little dwarf mulberries for me and uh, I absolutely can't wait. So, there you go, give it a go, they're pretty much bulletproof these things, very simple process, you don't have to do anything more with them, I don't have to cover them with anything, I've just got to keep them moist, don't let them dry out at all, and just stick them in a, a sheltered position, just so they receive a little bit of speckled light. So, have fun with it, all the best, and good luck, and uh... I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.